Welcome to the project demonstration of Human Posture Recognition System along with fault detection and alerting by using IoT. So here we are going to uh, recognize the postures of human like uh, walking, sitting, uh, standing and also falling. So whenever the fall detected, uh, it will send the notification alerts along with the location that uh, details to the Blink application by using ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and continuously it will monitor the postures like whether the person is standing more so that will be more displayed on the LCD screen and also same uh, message will be displayed on the LCD of Blink application so if the person is walking same uh, displayed on the LCD standing sitting so these four are recognized by the MPU6050 uh, gyroscope module so it is a 6 axis gyroscope module and uh, which was interfaced at the A4 and A5 pins of our Arduino Uno board and the GPS to get the PVT that is the position, velocity, time so that was monitored by the Uno board and uh, which was interfaced at pin number 0 and pin number 1 interfaced to the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so whenever the fall detects then the system will alert uh, through this audible indication and uh, alert message on the LCD and the same uh, alert message displayed on the LCD of Blink application as well as alert notification will be sent to this. So that particular notification will be sent to the mobile phone without any uh, opening of this app. So that it will, uh, app was running in the background also it will send the notification to that. The only thing is we need to provide the Wi-Fi hotspot along with data to the kits nearby that. And the whole system getting power supply from this 3.7 volts 2200 milliamp per hour battery so which is a lithium ion battery so which is a rechargeable battery so to recharge this battery we are going to making use of this tp4046 module and uh, so just we need to provide the b type charger to that so just like our mobile phone charger only so which will provide the 5 volts power supply to that so this by connecting very gentle ma because it's very sensitive over here so insert it properly right so once insert properly then the red LED will show the status of the battery is charging now so once the battery is fully charged it will off and the blue light will get switched on so that's the indication of battery is fully charged after that the output from this battery given as input to this whole system through this boost converter which will take 3.7 volts input and provide as the 5 volts output so once we provide that the system start reading input from this gyroscope MPU6050 as well as GPS so based on this input it will send the data to the mobile phone through this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and so called status continuously displayed on the LCD screen which we have interfaced at pin number 2 to pin number 7 on this buzzer uh, interface at the pin number 13 of a you know board so to get the exact location values we should demonstrate this project under the sky view because gps will get the exact uh, latitude longitude values by getting the satellite vision so it needs at least of three satellite visions then only it will provide us the exact accurate location values of the person those over this uh, system so let us see the demonstration once the battery is fully charged remove it very gentle again <coughs> right and this is the on off switch so before switch on the kit as we discussed we need to provide the hotspot to the system so for that go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 5476 and the password should be 12345678 so in project 5476 all are should be small letters without any space without any capital letter third is password and fourth is select AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz so these three are very important after that you can enable the hotspots and data now keep the kit in standby mode so I will show you the by wearing that also so welcome message displayed on the LCD screen and we can see one device is connected over here so you can go to the network analyzer application sorry right to blink application so welcome to the project and now standing mode right so if any motion detects to that so then the system will check the accelerometer data if the acceleration increases uh, 0.2 meters per second then it's a walking position so now let us see with the real time presentation
Yes. Okay. Right. So, after buzzer got on and off two times, the sticker now. Right. So it is online now. So standing one. So when I'm doing walking on that, so it is uh, check for the motion to that. So it's showing the walking now. So when I'm sitting position. Okay, it's not sitting one. Right. And again standing. And again walking. Right. right. If any fall detects, so just I uh, will show you that. So if the person fall like this one, okay. So same we can see that the alert notification was received to that one. Right. Now, now let us see the demonstration in the sky view to get the exact location. Why? Right? Because I am showing a zero zero values. We are demonstrating this in uh, under the roof, so that's why there is no vision, uh, satellite vision to that. Pass. Right. So now we have kept the kit under the sky view. So that's why we are getting the values of 17 something and 78. So there we can see one GPS light also blinking, which will show the status of it getting the signals. So now we can see the black color is our kit location, and the green color is the mobile phone location. So when we click on that, it will show the live location. Now it is standing one. So if the motion detects to that, we can see, we can track the person also. Okay, done. At that location, the person is in walking. So if anything fault detects, then automatically we will get the location alerts as notification. So if the mobile phone is locked also, We can get the notification alerts to that.